Just as the Ugandan economy had started gaining some pace, emerging from the fast lockdown effects and seen growing at 3% levels by the central bank, these gains could be reversed by the new pandemic wave, according to bankers. So with the advent of the pandemic, there was stress that was, uh, um, you know, incurred or experienced by various borrowers. And you can see that trend, uh, you know, we did see that trend spike uh, by the time we're getting to the uh, first half or the first part of the you know first second half of 2020 what did that mean um, with the relief measures coming in i think initially for a 12 month period uh, ending 31st march and then being extended further to uh, 30th september what we have typically seen is that as the economy has recovered in earnest uh, some semblance of normalcy coming through prior to what we have experienced over the last uh, one month in terms of the the second wave and the upsurge in the numbers. I think the impact of that is yet to be felt in terms of uh, what, what it means for the economy. But going forward, I think it also does bring in um, a certain level of uncertainty in terms of what will 2021 be? Will it be truly a year of recovery? But that's the, the hope and desire that we all have to say. At the ABSA Bank post-budget discussions, business captains drawn from government, the banking industry and revenue authority, thus consensus that new policy measures aimed at stimulating economic activity could yield positive results. This is essentially ensuring that UDB is properly capitalized. In the financial year which is ending, we have practically provided almost one trillion Uganda shillings at Uganda Development Bank to ensure that they are able to have sufficient capital, but also lend at uh, rates which are reasonable uh, for, for uh, particular the manufacturers. So we'll continue with that uh, strategy of providing additional resources. And uh, in, so we'll continue providing additional resources uh, to Uganda Development Bank uh, to ensure that uh, you know, the business community, the manufacturers and the industrialists can access funding uh, at reasonably good uh, rate. Good news to large enterprises, but who will be hoping that the taxman will be a bit lenient, at least in the face of the new wave, which is continuously threatening purchasing power. Top on the programs we've come up with is the introduction of electronic uh, receipting and invoicing system, commonly referred to as IFRIS. Uh, this is a very transparent uh, technology that allows as to effectively and accurately assess the revenues that are expected from these sectors. And it will take out room for any you know, inaccurate assessment. It will take out room for any suspicion, because whatever you are doing is transparently uh, being shared with the revenue authority. Now, if this is uh, implemented across board, it will uh, help these sectors to trade on fair ground. There is some hope that these aspirations could be met with anticipated vaccine deployments to the country, helped by a better global economic outlook, according to economists.